She's going to come back in and land again. Once a year, Whoa. biologists from Idaho Fish and Game and the Peregrine Fund go to a 14th floor ledge on the One Capital Center to band baby peregrine falcons. Here she's coming again. Watch her. Look out. The risk of a face-to-face -face confrontation with an angry peregrine mother also has its reward. Read that They've all got individually numbered bands now, so if anybody should find them again in the future, we can identify where they came from and well, what was once the domain of biologists and dedicated falconers is now accessible to anyone with a computer and an internet connection. Okay, we're almost done here, guys. Several years ago, the Boise-based internet company Fiberpipe donated their expertise and installed webcams to stream video and audio of Boise's peregrine falcons. You have whole classrooms that are able to pull up video feeds, uh, which, you know, now with technology, you know, we look at where we're at today and we're able to pull up this live internet stream for the 14th floor and actually pull it up on a big screen and, and have it look very, very decent. With webcams focused on the nest box and the 14th floor ledge, people see firsthand how a top predator lives and raises a brood in its urban habitat. By us looking at these peregrines and understanding what these peregrines are doing, we're really looking at the entire ecosystem below them because without everything underneath in the food chain, you can't have the top of the food chain, right? And for the first time now, they're seeing it all every day firsthand through the webcam. When technology can turn kids onto the natural world, that's a good thing. For Be Outside, I'm Michael Keckler.